I'm Dr. Leonie Furi. I'm a colorectal surgeon. So I work in the field of uh, colorectal surgery in uh, Charlotte Mateke Hospital and also at the Busamed Hospital. I'm involved in the training of registrars and um, the fellows, colorectal fellows. Um, and this is mainly um, done through the university, Wits University. Um, I'm also involved a lot with laparoscopic surgery and the development of laparoscopic surgery in colorectal uh, field. Um, I also have a keen interest in high pec surgery. Um, this is surgery done for um, intraperitoneal cancer for malignancies. One of the big benefits to doing laparoscopic surgery in my space, because I'm in a training hospital, I always have registrars that need to be trained and fellows that need to be trained. And sometimes there's a whole lot of people in, in the theater that actually want to see the operation. One of the big benefits with laparoscopic surgery is it's all up on the screens and everyone can see exactly um, what is being done. So as a teaching tool, teaching people the anatomy, showing people the planes of dissection. With laparoscopic surgery, it, it is so much easier. Um, with open surgery, it is the people that are actually scrubbed in that can see what is being done. Um, so as a, as a teaching tool, that has been a, an absolute benefit um, with laparoscopic surgery. The other benefit I found uh, with laparoscopic surgery, and this has come with uh, time and with experience is that the surgery does become easier laparoscopically as opposed to open. A third benefit that I've seen with laparoscopic surgery is uh, the patients don't uh, recover faster, like we've mentioned. Um, they've got less wounds, less scars, less infections. They recover faster. They mobilize faster. That is a huge benefit. The adoption of laparoscopic surgery is not that good um, amongst general surgeons. And it, it, it tells a story about the training in the country um, more than anything else. Um, most surgeons were trained open. And once they start getting into practice, they practice the way that they were trained. Um, and it is very difficult to switch from open to laparoscopic surgery. It, it can be done and people have done it, but it, it, it is this very steep learning curve. When I just started off, it was doing very few cases laparoscopically. And as um, I've expanded my training and experience, I've been able to do more and more cases laparoscopically and take on the more difficult cases laparoscopically as well. So there's a growth in your learning and your skill and in your confidence um, over the years. Um, at the moment, um, most of our elective, I can say 90% of our elective surgery is done laparoscopically. Uh, the patients that require open surgery are becoming fewer. If we look at what we can do for people who are already trained surgeons, but they are doing open surgery and have a desire or a need to um, acquire laparoscopic skill, is to look at creating pathways for doing that. Um, and it will come down to commitment from also the surgeons, because there's a huge time commitment that has to be it has to be put in place to do that. Um, but I think it's uh, a developing practice and um, creating pathways uh, to, to help existing surgeons change their practice or adopt laparoscopic skills into their practice. Okay. So how soon will you recover from a laparoscopic procedure. This is very individual and it varies from patient to patient um, depending on any pre-existing condition, the type of tumor and the stage of, of, um, of tumor that, uh, that, that you have as a patient. This will all impact your recovery, um, what we're looking at. But um, a patient coming for a left hemicolectomy, a right hemicolectomy, and everything goes smoothly, no complications. These patients can generally be discharged within four to five days and um, maybe seven days at home after um, discharge, they may be able to go back to work after seven days.
It is often a bit longer with open surgery, and it could be two or two to three days longer hospital stay with open surgery. And that is because the patient will have a big wound, a big wound on the abdomen um, that has to that has to heal. And they are in more pain after open surgery. They also require more um, analgesia, which is pain medication, and especially opioid type of um, analgesia, because they are stronger, the, the amount of pain these patients would be in, they require stronger pain medication. And that is a combination now of a wound, the pain medication, and the risk of infection that um, makes patients that had open surgery stay in hospital longer. Mm -hmm.